Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on the newest set to hit The Sims 3 store and it is called Lullabies and Nursery Rhymes. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it because you probably have heard me a million times moan and groan and complain about how there's just not enough stuff for like the babies and the toddlers and it was just kind of getting ridiculous. Like I feel like they should be adding more stuff into the expansion packs um, for this sort of thing, if you know what I mean. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give you all my opinion, show you guys the items, and do what typical reviews do. I know there are a few um, of them already out, but I feel like, you know, this sort of thing, there's, there's never too many reviews. You know, I love to hear different people's opinions on things, what they liked, what they don't like, and then kind of make a decision off of that whether or not the set is worth it, in my opinion. So let's go ahead and talk about the biggest thing, numbers. Definitely got to throw down how much dinero you're going to have to put out for this bad boy. So typically the set will go for 2,000 sim points or 20 US dollars, which kind of breaks it down to 71 cents per an item. Or if you want to get it on a sale, you totally have that chance until the 17th of this month. And that breaks it down to 59 cents per an item, which I think is far more reasonable than damn near paying a dollar, which is craziness total freaking craziness if you're wondering how many items you get in this set it's actually uh, 28 including the two premium content items and the clothing and things like that which personally i don't i don't think is too bad um 28 items 20 28 items is actually quite a lot now if you were to tell me is it worth 20 dollars, i'm gonna tell you no right off the bat no uh is it worth 16.75 eh, kind of pushing it but i mean at 59 cents Per item, I do not think that's that bad, in my personal opinion. Let me go ahead and just show you all kind of how I uh, set up my little nursery here. Uh, this is pretty much what it looks like in a nutshell. I think that with to be able to really utilize all these items, you need a fairly big room, to say the least. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all item by item. The first thing is this new little crib. I really do like it. It's just one of those pieces that can be modern. It can be, you know, very, like, earthy. It can be edgy. It can be anything you want it to be via, you know, customizing the color palette, which is really, really cool. This little gadget up on the ceiling, if you guys can see. Oh, I definitely need to get better navigating skills, but it is this little mobile here for your babies and toddlers and basically what it is is a leaf on a stick that's it that's all there is for that one uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you all the brand new pate which I really like a lot because it looks a little more sophisticated than the little plastic cheap one that um, was previously in my game so definitely a sigh of relief there it's a little more upgraded a little more modern and it honestly doesn't look as cheesy um, same crib that you saw earlier, I just needed two for the two toddlers. Uh, there's a new little wall gizmo, which I really like. I think, I don't know, I love the silhouette of the birds. Like, I just love that design in general when it comes to fashion and things like that. So, I think this little wall piece is perfect, not just for your nursery, but for any part of your house, really. You know, in the bathroom, if you like birds in the bathroom, in your, your, your room, um, dining room, whatever. You know, you can customize it to fit just about any one of your needs. Over here we have a brand new dresser, which I love because it's not overly childish, you know what I mean? Like you can customize this to fit a toddler's room, baby's room, you know, teen's room, almost. You know, if you were like me as a kid you couldn't let go to those damn beanie babies, it could work. It really could. So I really do like this. There's also a very modern lamp that comes with this set. Uh, many uses you could get out of this with different kind of like themes and things like that so it's not specific to children which is why i really really do like this set so far over here you have a brand new bookshelf and again it's not decked out in freaking stuffed animals so high five ea for that one i really do like it i like the little wheels the little kind of like s curvy detail it's very modern it's very sleek and i really really do like it um it also kind of has like a world adventures feel to me because the little suitcases and things like that so definitely like this item uh this little chair over here cracks me up i i'm more drawn into it because of the little owl pillow. Uh, I have really large eyes, if you did not know, and um, people call me owl, bug, rana, frog, um, and things like that. So I really like it just because of the little owl pillow. I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, over here you have another little wall detail, but it's really just like a clock in disguise. I really do like it. I think it's kind of nice just to add it into, you know, the grand scheme of things. Even though your toddlers can't tell time, your parents sure can. Whether it's clocking out the next dirty diaper or when your kid needs a feeding or if, <laughs> I feel sorry for you, but you're the babysitter, this can certainly come in handy. Uh, over here we have two more, actually three more items I'm going to show you guys. Or actually, no, we have quite a few more. Wow. Okay. Um, this is the new like toy chest. I do like this. I'm not crazy about it. I'm not going to lie. Um, kind of looks like a little termite gut in here with those little wood graining. I don't know. It's just, it's not my cup of tea, but it does fit the overall theme. So I, you know, it is what it is. It works. Um, this item here on the floor is obviously a rug, but I don't like it. Like I, this is probably the only item I don't like. And even though it has owls, it still just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. I don't feel like it matches anything whatsoever. And I feel like it's too small to really have a purpose. So I kind of had a hard time like finding out where I should put it. So I just kind of slapped that boy, 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 boy bad boy right there. Mm -hmm. So over here we have a brand new little like activity table that uh you know Landon's trying out he's getting his little block on I love this table so 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 much um, much more than the base game one I think it's really nice before I get into the custom or not custom content duh, uh the premium content I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um two more things that you actually get with this set which I was really 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 shocked to see I didn't even realize this was in my game until I downloaded it, or I didn't realize it came with this set until I downloaded it. And it is two new kind of beds. You have these little bunk beds here, um, which are really, really, really nice. And then you have like a matching single bed. So even though you may not have toddlers forever, you also get something for your teens and your kids. And uh, this is definitely customizable to fit any age range, which is really, really nice. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the nursery here. I'm gonna show you guys the two new premium content items that will be released later on for individual sale, but like everything else, it's gonna take them ages. So. so over here we have the brand new diaper changing table, which initially you can bathe and you get to pick who you wanna bathe, obviously, out of your toddlers. I'm not exactly sure if this works on babies because as you can see, I don't have a baby, but um, it does work on toddlers. So you can bathe them and you can also change them. Uh, what my personal feel about this is, is that it's not necessary. It's nice to have you. It gives you a little more depth in your gameplay, but it's not necessary. I mean, you can just automatically click on your child and change their diaper. Um, and that pretty much does the exact same thing. This, however, is kind of exciting. It is a little different. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. I'm not exactly sure if this is a necessity per se, but the cool thing is that your toddlers can interact with this and they can tell your sim what they need, um, which is cool. So if your sim's in the other room, and this is actually placed in that room, they will be able to call out to the parents and queue up an interaction on the parents' end and come take care of them. Before we actually jump into the clothing, I'm gonna go ahead and interact with the two premium content items for you guys so you can kinda see what they do. Uh, the first thing we will have um, Mr. Chad here do is we will change or bathe. We'll bathe Landon Brown. Um, he's not, you know, stinky or anything, but you know, just to kind of give you guys a idea of what these new objects do. So they flip it over and then it turns into like a little baby bath. Um, the blur on this is incredibly large. Let's let's not over exaggerate it, please. Um, like seriously, that's probably my only thing is that the, um, we'll also have him change Landon. Uh, it's just too big. Like it kind of ruins the whole damn purpose if you can't even see what's happening. Are you serious? Ah, uh, that's the only thing I don't like about that. It's just like it kind of makes it a dud for me. It really does. Like I can't even see what the hell's going on. Not that I really want to, but I would like to see a little more than a whole bunch of blurs. And he pretty much tossed his kid up to the ceiling. Um, so there you go. You can kind of see what's happening. I think it's kind of cute because the little toddlers, if you can see, kind of like get all like tickled and flustered and stuff when they're getting their diaper changed. And then the little interaction where uh, Chad here um, tickles his son, that's kind of cute. So. Just put the adults in the room where the baby monitor is and uh, I'm going to go ahead and have Lauren 
yell into the little baby monitor feed me where um, basically there you go it turns on it starts screaming blah 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 and then in the room where the other baby monitor is basically it's like a little walkie talkie obviously and it starts screaming as well um and relays the message to the parents like i said earlier and it queues up in their little uh, line so she's gonna go ahead and feed lauren on the floor like a good mama um i think this is actually quite cool especially if you do have your kids or babies toddlers whatever in the other room um this actually could be quite helpful so i do find it really really convenient but again not a necessity more of a want so there carly is feeding lauren on the floor like a good mama so the very last thing i obviously have to show you guys is the clothing so i'm gonna go ahead and hop in to create a sim and we'll start off with the girl clothing. There are a lot of new clothing items for the toddlers, primarily the girls. Uh, some of these sets are actually already out um, for individual sale at 50 cents an item, which isn't very bad. Again, that's like the sale price, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you all the hoodie that comes with it. Um, pretty much that's what it looks like. You can do dinosaurs, monster trucks, um, just a plain basic hoodie, which is absolutely adorable. So I do and like that, I do enjoy that quite a bit. Um, we're gonna go into full outfits here. So this is the first full outfit. I really like the little lace detailing on the side. It's really girly and it's, you know, something I would put on my Sims these days versus the older styles, which are kind of like, I don't know, I feel like the older clothing is kind of, it's cute but it's not cute enough. It's kind of ugly, actually, in my personal opinion. Um, so I really do like that outfit. Uh, over here is, um, I don't know what this is, but this is more of a style that I honestly would actually put on my boys versus my girls. Next, we have a little romper, which is definitely adorable. I love rompers. Uh, unfortunately, I can't pull them off because, you know, they always give me a camel toe, and it's just not really sexy. But however, for my toddlers, definitely an A+. I really love the little detailing on this outfit, you know, with the ruffles, the little strings with the bows. It's just definitely a cute little number, to say the least. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to this next one here. Uh, this one is actually one of my favorites just because you have these little high-waisted shorts with, again, really nice button detail, um, just detail in general in these outfits. Uh, and the top up here is really, really cute, flowy, and girly and lacy. Here's like a little overall suspender like short set, which is also really cute. A little on the plain side, but that's okay. It's definitely a big upgrade from the previous outfits that you know were in the sim story another little cute outfit i love the color combo but what i really love the most is the little detailing on the back and i just noticed that there's a little bow on her bum and um, some roughly like detailing on the end of her short so that's really really cute and you can customize a lot of this outfit we're gonna go move on to this next outfit this one has polka dots a bow um, and again, a nice little cutout in the back, which is so cute, different from anything I've ever seen them come out with. And uh, I really do like it. These are actually outfits I would dress on my little girl if I had one. Um, and then it comes with cute little shorts and stuff like that. Um, I also think this is an outfit, uh, kind of like something we just saw in like the pink one up here. It's very similar to that pink one. Actually, it's quite similar to the pink one, but the only difference is, is there's buttons instead of a bow. Um, however, it is still really, really, really adorable, and I definitely am loving these outfits to death, you guys. I love them. Um, I think there's just two more to show. We have this little ensemble, which is, again, um, pretty good for, like, the summertime, springtime, or whatever. I'm not really seeing a whole lot here that pertains to fall, necessarily, but again, um, you know, it is what it is, and it's certainly a big step up from what we had in the game. The last one here is a sailor's outfit. Uh, super cute, definitely love this. Um, with the little, you know, button detailing again in the front. Uh, the little, I don't know what this is called, a sash? No, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm trying to get fancy with my words and it's just not working, but anyway. That's the sailor outfit. For the boys, they come equipped with two brand new clothing items and actually a couple, no, two? Three, I lie, three. Yeah, three full new outfits. Okay, Jennifer needs to learn how to count ASAP. Anyway, these two are obviously a glitch. I mean, you could probably customize this to make it look like a boy outfit, but again, with those little poofy, you know, shoulder thingies, I don't think so, but whatever. Um, this one here is a little floozy. I uh, don't think that was supposed to be there, but whatever. 
Um, however, this outfit is perfect for boys. It's kind of like a little sporty outfit. So I really do like that. Um, again, with the longer shorts, this could definitely work. Um, this by far is definitely my favorite outfit for the boys. Um, you know, just because it's like easily customizable and it's a full outfit with a lot of little details. So I love that. And then last but not least is the little sailor outfit, obviously for the boys in blue. Um, so there's a lot of different, you know, clothing options there. Again, with this, you also get the hoodie that I showed you all earlier, and it looks like it's available for 50 sim points. Um, so some of these are actually available already on um, the Sims 3 store to purchase. So if you like any of these clothing items, I definitely suggest nabbing them, only 50 cents a pop versus you know, you spending twenty dollars and then having to spend seventy one cents on them. I think it. I think it's more far reason, more far reasonable, or much more reasonable. There we go. Anyway, uh, so these are the hoodies again. Dinosaur, and then little monster truck. No, not monster trucks, Jennifer. What are these? Um, I don't know. Trucks. Yeah, sure. So that is pretty much it for the boys section. So with that, I think I've pretty much gone over all the items that are included into this pack, all 28. Hopefully I didn't forget anything because I'm telling you, I'm totally like a 10 second Tom and I, I forget all the time. But anyway, I'm going to just tell you my quick overall opinion. If you were to ask me to rate this on a scale of one to 10, what would be the number I would pick? It would definitely have to be a six. I love this pack so 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 much and um i definitely feel like it's a great one to have it it definitely deepens your gameplay it's not necessarily something like you have to have do you know what i mean it's not like oh my gosh like i had to have it when it came to like the uh lucky simoleon casino i had to have it when it came to the monte vista and the pizzeria thingy i had to have it it's just something you 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 can't work around in the game otherwise but again with these two premium content items you can work around it. Like you don't necessarily need to have them, although they're nice to have. Now the furniture items, they are fantastic. I love the furniture items so much. I feel like they really give the toddlers and the babies kind of more of an edge. Uh, it's not so kitty and giddy and, you know, childish, even though they are kids, but it's more like modern and elegant almost like it's really nice um but when it comes down to the you know down to the wire the price is what's going to squash a lot of people uh just because the price is so much as much as the stuff pack it is as much as the stuff pack but again i mean you can pull apart pick and choose what you want from this set you don't have to buy everything as a whole and if you want to get down to face value for each item i do not feel like 59 cents per item is bad when these come out, they're going to be like $5 alone. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like the on sale price is a pretty decent price for $16. Now, if they would have went like 10, <laughs> I would have been a happy camper. If they would have went 15, that would have been nice. But $20 is crazy and I would not spend $20 on it at all. Like I said, you can definitely get around these items. There's tons of custom content out there in the world that will totally make up for these items and more. However, my overall opinion on this pack is it's definitely a nice to have, not a need to have by any means, at least for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think about this pack if you have it or if you don't down below. Um, also, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye.